Hi, welcome to this tutorial video on the Roden Schwartz HMO 1002 series. On the last video, we had a look at the auto measurement function. For this video, we're going to have a look at another measurement function called cursors. On the HMO, cursors can be activated by using the cursor measure button. So, as you can see here, from this list, users can then choose which cursors to actually activate. So, for example, if we choose a voltage cursor, a user can then choose what particular source to look at as well. If we press into the select key again, we jump into the first cursor here, and then users can then choose to position this exactly onto the trace just here. If you press into the select key again, it just jumps into the second cursor. If I press this once more, it just ties the two cursors together so, so that if I change the first cursor, the second cursor follows it as well. And you should be able to see V1, V2 and the delta of the voltage between them. If I go back into the cursor menu, I can then again choose, for example, time and this can be changed again. Now there are a few functions on the cursor menu which make life a bit more simpler. So there is a function called set to trace. So for example in this mode we haven't had the cursors right on the pulse uh, for looking at the period of that pulse if you may. So if I select set to trace that just jumps to the first edge uh, of the pulse and then really quickly I can then set up those cursors and if I do want to make any changes then I can press that wheel again to, uh, to tweak that at all. If for any reason the cursors are, are away from the screen we can then hit the set to screen button and it just brings the cursors back into focus. Glue to trace is also always quite nice if I do set to trace and then do glue to trace there. If I do change my time based settings or any of those you can see the cursors follow that setting change there if the glue to trace is not active then the cursors just stay uh, exactly where they were in that particular position when I last left it with the cursors as you've seen from this list you can then also rather than you just your traditional voltage and time you also have other functionality for example count now count gives you um, I just select that there and then move those cursors around so you can select the first cursor maybe just down there and then the second cursor there and then uh, you can also cycle through and then maybe select the threshold for the third value uh, and what you get there is how many positive rises we have how many negative rises we have and also the the rising edge and the falling edge count as well so it helps if it's a bursted signal or a, um, a protocol decode at all if um, users want to look at both voltage and time, this is achieved by using the V marker. So if you select the V marker, we now then get V1, V2 and also the delta of the time and the voltage as well. So then users can then choose to move the time and then follow what that uh, voltage is actually doing across the trace. So there you have it, few different measurement functions by using the cursors. For more information, please have a look at our website or please keep watching the videos in this series.